Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best non cloth slash non paddle controller binds for Chapter 4 Season 2. I believe that majority of the Fortnite controller community is on non cloth slash non paddle. It's hard to learn claw, and it's pretty expensive to buy paddles, so most of you are probably on non cloth slash non paddle. So, this video is for players who want to stay competitive without learning claw or without spending money. I believe I've constructed the best controller binds for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox controllers. So, I've constructed the best possible controller binds for PlayStation 4 slash PlayStation 5 controllers, as well as the Xbox controllers. So, without further ado, without wasting any more time, let's just get right into the video. So starting off with the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers, we're gonna start off with left stick edit, touchpad switch mode, right stick jump, X for crouch, slide and repair, circle for sprint, square for reloading and interacting, triangle for toggle pickaxe, and the right side with the d-pad for your map. I like these set of binds because left stick edit is a universally accepted bind to be one of the best if not the best edit bind in the game. Next we're gonna have touchpad switch mode which I personally agree is a little bit harder to press. Now PlayStation 4 controllers probably won't have this problem but PlayStation 5 controllers you're gonna have to adjust your fingers a little bit. Now I can still do this by tapping the top side of the touchpad which you can do on the PlayStation 5 controller. It's just easier to do it on the PlayStation 4 controller so you're gonna have to adjust your fingers a little bit. Now to do this you just want to extend your index finger to tap the top side of the touchpad. Next we're gonna have circle sprint which is pretty standard. X for crouch slide and repair and right stick jump is usually the case. Since non class slash non paddle players they don't use their index finger to tap one of the face buttons so you definitely want to have right stick jump. And then we're gonna have triangle toggle pickaxe which is its standard place. The other binds won't need much explanation since it's pretty self-explanatory. For the build controls, you definitely don't want to touch anything here. You want to stick with Standard Builder Pro and that's pretty much it. We don't need to tamper with the build controls and we're just going to stick with Standard Builder Pro. For the editing controls, I recommend L2 to confirm, R2 to select, and R1 to reset. I personally like R1 reset and R2 select. I used to like R1 select and L1 to reset, but I've personally started to like R1 to reset and R2 to select. Basically, you're utilizing the backside buttons of the controller to edit, and that's really, really good. Now, L2 confirm, it doesn't really matter much where your confirm is because of the new setting. Fortnite added auto confirm edits for both resetting and editing, and I do recommend putting those on both. Now the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers follow the same concept and they pretty much have the same layout so you don't want to have to worry about that. Integration is really easy with PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers so if you are on PlayStation 4 and you want to transition to PlayStation 5, you wouldn't need to change any of these binds. Anyways, let's move on to the Xbox controllers. So moving on to the Xbox controllers, we're going to follow some of the same concepts as the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller besides a few differences. Left stick edit is universally accepted so we're going to keep that there, Y toggle pickaxe, X reload slash interact, B switch mode, A crouch slide repair, and right stick jump. And then we're gonna have our map on the right side of the D-pad and then sprint on the back or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called select, but I'm just gonna name it back for now. Now B switch mode is the default button for switch mode. So you wouldn't have to worry about integrating to a new set of binds. And it's still pretty good, especially for non class slash non paddle. And then we're gonna have A crouch slide to repair and right stick jump as always. And then for sprint slash auto sprint, this is where it gets a little tricky. Now to do this, you just wanna extend your left thumb all the way to the select or the back button and after that you can just tap it and since you have auto sprint enabled you're just gonna run fast now to do this you just want to extend your left thumb all the way to the back button to sprint to make sure this works i do recommend turning on toggle sprint if you don't have it on already this will basically make it so that you just need to tap it once and then you're gonna sprint in what direction you're going for this is a pretty good set of binds and I highly recommend it, although it is not as optimal as if you were using a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controller. For the build controls, we're going to stick to Standard Builder Pro and we're not going to get away from that. We're just going to stick to Standard Builder Pro and that's it. Now for the editing controls, we're going to switch the RB Reset to RB Select and then RT Select to RT Reset. It takes forever for the triggers on the Xbox controller to bottom out. And this is why I recommend RB select and RT reset. Now we don't have to worry where our confirm button is on our controller. We just have to worry about the settings and make sure that it is on both. Now obviously these are not as optimal as PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 controllers purely because the layout of the Xbox controller is just not as good as the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 controllers. But this will help you stay competitive and if you do want to transition to Claw, it will definitely help you a lot. 
So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Turn on post notifications so you're notified of videos just like this one. After posting a lot of gameplay videos, I wanted to post something more informative. And this is the video that I hope will reach out to a bigger audience. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.